Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. Today's topic, I'd like to talk about vacuum leak. So many of us know what vacuum leak is and how it can affect engine performance, but many of us do not know or how to properly trace a vacuum leak. To trace for a vacuum leak, the first place you want to look for or around the area is going to be the intake manifold. So basically, you're going to go ahead and go up around the intake manifold and you're going to start to listen for a hissing noise. It's going to sound something like air leaking out of a ball or a balloon, such as, it's going to make this type of noise. And if you hear that noise, that is a vacuum leak. So we know the most common vacuum leak is going to occur around the intake manifold. So first thing you want to check is going to be the gasket, basically the intake manifold gasket. You want to listen for hissing noise around that area. Next, you want to listen, you want to check for uh, hissing noises around the vacuum hoses attached to the intake manifold. If you can trace the, um, the hissing noise coming from the intake manifold, then you pretty much found your issue. So whatever you do, always confirm that the hissing noise is actually coming from the area and you actually have a vacuum leak. So what you want to do is use a carburetor cleaner and if you can find where the hissing noise is coming from as close as you can, spray a little bit of carpet cleaner around the area. If you hear an increase in RPM, basically the engine is going to go ooh, ooh. When you spray the uh, carburetor cleaner or throttle body cleaner, then you know the vacuum leak is coming from that area. The next common area that you're going to notice is going to be a vacuum leak is going to be around the brake booster. So basically when a brake booster is bad internally, you're going to hear a strong his noise coming underneath the dashboard. Also, you wanted to check the um, the check valve, and you also want to check the uh, the hoses going to the brake booster. So basically, the check valve, and you want to check underneath the dashboard. If you can hear his noise coming around from the check valve or the brake booster hose or underneath the dashboard, then you know that's going to be the issue. Also, vacuum leak is commonly found around the throttle body. Basically, you're going to have a bad throttle body gasket. It can be found around the PCB. Basically, the rubber hose is going to be worn and torn. And you can also find it at the round mount sensor as well, again, around the hoses. So when a vacuum leak is severe enough, first thing you're going to know is going to be idle issue. Basically, you're going to have extremely rough idle. So basically, Vacuum leak is based on meter air going inside the engine. If the engine kind of determine the amount of air that's coming in, it's going to disrupt the air fuel mixture. Therefore, you're going to have rough idle. The next common problem is going to be an engine misfire. So basically what you're going to get is commonly is going to be a P0300. Basically that is a random misfire because the computer cannot determine where the misfire is coming from. So basically just extremely random. But also, it can also trigger code from P0300 to P0312, basically up to cylinder number 12. But most vehicles are going to go up to cylinder number 8. So commonly, you're going to get P0300 to P0308, so basically up to cylinder number 8. So when you get an engine misfire, that's going to cause the check engine light to turn on. And it's going to start to flash and warn you as a driver that there's something wrong with the engine. Again, when your vacuum leak is extremely severe, it's going to cause the next engine performance. It's basically it's going to be stalling. So basically, let's just say you're driving and everything's okay. So Because vacuum leak does not affect engine performance while you are driving. It affects it during an idle or extreme low speed. So let's just say you are driving and suddenly you're getting off the highway, off the ramp. And you start to slow down and you're coming to a stop. And let's just say you step on a brake pedal and your engine suddenly stalls. That's going to be caused by a vacuum leak. Of course, there's going to be a lot of different reasons why an engine can stall, such as low fuel pressure, bad idle work control, a severe engine misfire caused by coil, spark plugs, bad fuel injectors, so on. But in this topic, we're going to focus on stalling. So basically, if you're coming to a stop and you hear some sort of hissing noise again, and your vehicle suddenly stalls, again, we're going to focus on vacuum leak. That's going to be a vacuum leak issue. So here's a question that begs to be answered. Can you use a scan tool to uh, diagnose a vacuum leak? And the answer is yes. So basically, a, a scan tool cannot tell you if you got a vacuum leak or not, but you could definitely look at the numbers. For example, let's just say you set your um, your, vehicle, your scan tool to live data. 
LIV live data. And basically what you want to look at is the short term food trim. If you see any number greater than plus 10, most likely that's gonna be a vacuum leak. Let's just say you got a plus 10. Let's say you got a plus 10 to about plus 20. From my experience, first thing first, I would always trace it's gonna be a vacuum leak. The vacuum leak is gonna cause extremely lean condition. And every time you have a positive right here, basically your computer is adding fuel and it's trying to correct that air and fuel mixture. So basically when you see extremely high number like this, it's gonna be caused by vacuum leak. Again, as mentioned earlier, this, since you're using a scan tool, of course, you're gonna check again for P0300. If you're only getting this number and no other number, basically this is gonna be a random misfire because the computer does not know exactly where that misfire is occurring. It's gonna be random and you're only getting this number and only that number, most likely it's gonna be a vacuum leak. So how do you find a vacuum leak? As mentioned earlier, earlier you can use carburetor cleaner and look for it. The hissing noise and you find that hissing noise to spray carburetor cleaner around it and check for an increase of rpm using a carburetor cleaner if you can't find a vacuum leak what do you want to do next is you want to smoke basically smoke the uh, the vacuum system basically you want to uh, use a smoke machine and you want to remove one of the uh, vacuum hoses that's going to the intake manifold gas intake manifold and basically just smoke it. So you see smoke any coming out of anywhere, basically the gasket, intake manifold gasket, the throttle body gasket, the vacuum, uh, vacuum hoses and so on, then you know that there's a leak around that area and it's causing a vacuum leak. So I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.